Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning and uh, welcome. Uh, today we will get into what dreams and dream interpretation is all about. So let me pray and uh, we'll begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this time, Lord, to study your word. Father, we pray you will lead us and uh, help us, Lord, to learn so that, Lord, we can apply it in our lives and, Father, that uh, we can be blessed and many others can be blessed, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So uh, when it comes to dreams, we've already seen how God speaks, right? God speaks uh, and we can pick up the information that God is communicating through our spirit senses. So there is a sense of seeing and then there's a sense of hearing and knowing and smell, um, taste, all that. But when it comes to the sense of seeing, there, um, there are things we can see when we are awake, like pictures. Uh, we can see maybe some symbols or uh, we call them open eye visions. So visions are more like a motion picture. Something is happening and we are seeing it. But all this is happening when we are awake. But shut eye visions are what are dreams. Meaning when we are asleep and we have seen that in Job chapter 33. Uh, the scriptures tell us from verse 14 to 18 that when one is in deep sleep, when people are slumbering on their beds, uh, verse 16 of Job 33 says, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. So this is what God does. He seals the instruction or what he wants to say uh, through a dream. So God gives us a dream. Job 33 Verse 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night. Okay, in a dream, in a vision of the night. God puts, seals the instruction in our spirit man. So that is what dreams are all about. Now we can ask the question, where do dreams come from? So dreams come from God because already Job 33 says that. He gives the dreams. Second, dreams can come from the enemy because we know that the enemy plays with our minds. So, you know, he may give us a dream and uh, uh, scare us or cause, you know, some confusion to happen. So the enemy can also give us dreams. The third way that dreams can come, Ecclesiastes 5 and verse 3, it says, for a dream comes through much activity. That simply means when we are um, preoccupied or when our mind is busy, even then we can get a dream. So we've talked about this when we are concerned about an exam. A lot of students might have dreams of exams because that's what is going on in our minds. But is that from the Lord? Not necessarily. It's because of uh, the busyness that we are getting that dream. So there are three sources. One is God, one is uh, Satan, and the third one is just activity, through much activity. We can have a dream. So which are the dreams that need an interpretation? The ones that are from the Lord. Okay. So most importantly, uh, we have to identify which are the dreams from God and then interpret. So you don't, we don't have to waste our time trying to interpret every dream because it may not really be from God. So the second question, um, what, what does God speak to us through a dream? It can be an instruction like do this or do that. It can also be a correction. Maybe God wants to correct something that's happening in our lives or God could reveal something new to us. All this he would communicate. Um, and when he does this, God's intention is to protect us, to preserve us, and uh, you know, guide us in his ways. Now, we also understand that dreams can come to saved people or those who are believers. Can unsaved people get a dream from the Lord? What do you think? Unbelievers. 
see dreams god speaks to us through a dream so believers can get dreams but can unbelievers have dreams yes okay we are clear on that so god can even speak to an unbeliever through a dream we can't say that oh you're not a believer so it can't be god they can in the bible there are a whole bunch of uh, examples abimelech back in the book of genesis had a dream okay uh, we see that uh, jacob you know, jacob had dreams uh, we talk about joseph god communicated to him through dreams he was also a dream interpreter uh, there are other people like we don't necessarily uh, i mean they are not the main biblical character for example of uh, uh, pharaoh's butler and baker in the prison they also had dreams so there are all these other people also they seem to be hearing from the lord through a dream pharaoh had a dream so god speaks to believer unbeliever all categories of people through a dream now uh, there is a whole list there even people like uh, solomon uh, nebuchadnezzar daniel uh, what about uh, the people who came to see baby jesus the magi they also had a dream uh, a pilot's wife had a dream that don't have anything to do with this right when jesus was being uh, killed so these are all examples of people who had dreams now dreams um is is one thing when we sleep but there can also be what is known as trance what is a trance we talked about it actually please use the mic yeah trance is like we are awake yes. but we are uh, seeing uh whether eyes closed or eyes open yes correct so we are awake but we are weak in our physical body temporarily uh, and what is happening is we are able to see a vision okay so that is a trance we know that uh, abram when god spoke to abram he was in a trance and then god showed him many things okay so uh, this is also something that god does so there was a trance that abram had uh, there are examples of trances of prophets bala ezekiel daniel so we would find you know that all these people had uh, in the new testament the book of acts anybody you know who had a trance peter uh, so he had that vision of uh, uh, the tent coming down and the animals and all so that is a trance okay even paul shares that he had experiences uh, of uh, trance okay so it's nothing unusual it's already there in the bible it, so it could happen we may have a dream or we can experience a trance now the most important yeah actor not necessarily ha huh? which one i didn't i didn't get it if we see now the people who may i mean take us into our trance they'll put one ball or clock they'll just do like this and then we'll go yeah. is there any act like that before what i have been doing with this i don't think god needs a clock <laughs> to put us in a trance so there isn't anything like that it can just happen whenever god wants us to see something it can just happen it can happen anytime this these acts are uh, like happening now also right there are people who do this as a witchcraft as a do uh, like yes, a thing yes. so they they do for bad things right that's yeah. why that's why i'm asking yeah so that is um, that is not from the lord there are always two sources to the supernatural one is uh, you know the satanic world so we must be aware of that okay uh, i know that uh, people also practice hypnosis yeah i don't know much about hypnosis so i don't want to say too much but my guess is that it's more on the psychological level right so that is more on the psychological level uh, 
yeah but this is what god does so don't go with anything that people do if god is doing it's fine okay now is a more in, uh, important part seeing the uh, dream and the vision is fine but because it is a lot of prophetic symbolism the meaning of the dream getting the meaning of the dream is what we are interested in so how to understand um, see we may we may see certain things which are quite literal okay literal meaning uh, if you see a clock it might be a clock only but it could also mean uh, you know your life or uh, the seasons of your life do you understand so some things are literal but some things are like symbolic so interpretation of the dream is where we kind of struggle like what is the meaning of what we are seeing so that's what we will talk about so we have to be very careful when it comes to the interpretation when we do the right interpretation there is right application but if we do the wrong interpretation then again we are in trouble because it will lead to the wrong application so in a dream when we see something okay uh, it can have two meanings one is what we call a self contained meaning or uh, that means that like by that image or by that object itself we know what god wants to say okay but there are other symbols which we see which may have an assigned meaning which which is like you have to um like come up with the meaning it cannot be understood as it is okay for example uh, if we take um a pillar an iron pillar we see an iron pillar and uh, i am resting on an iron pillar right we can immediately think that it's talking about strength because it is self contained iron pillar and also there's a scripture like jeremiah 118 you can look at that and we we know that it is talking about strength it's talking about um, like you can depend on it there's no problem so that's what it's talking about but good figs when you see figs and that too in uh, like prophetic <coughs> excuse me language what are figs what meaning are you going to assign to the figs right so a meaning has to be assigned by looking at the figs itself you can't tell that this means something but when you study the scriptures we understand that figs represent jewish captives so in the prophecy of jeremiah that's what he means so if we see figs in our dreams it could mean that it could mean that so that is what we call as assigned meaning by looking at that object itself we can't tell what it is but when we look at scripture then we can find out how it was used and what is the meaning of that okay uh, did you all get it ha uh, yeah when we when we are this uh, uh, just interpreting the dreams like do we have to apply the same principles what we are applying for the visions also visions yeah i think so uh and and the other thing is ma'am like when when we people normally get dreams uh -huh. there will be a i mean some sometimes they they won't they don't need a bible uh to just interpret the dream right like when we are talking you you told about unbelievers and believers yeah and for dreams there won't be a need for bible to explain the dreams because we'll get a normal dreams also that some something happened to someone and it yeah. happened yeah some was clear and, cut and someone someone will die in our dreams and it it will reflect to some other in in our relatives yeah we'll know, i mean i I've, i've been experienced with these all these things in my family also like yes. someone tells Oh. that i got a dream this morning someone died and someone will die the day or tomorrow some some of it happened yeah. yeah. so in that case there there won't be a need of bible every time right in the tree yeah so it may not need a lot of interpretation it may be very straight forward that the person himself or herself can tell that's what i'm saying some are literal literal means whatever it is it is 
there's no need for interpretation in that but then in some other dreams or in in the same dream few things are literal few things are symbolic if there are symbolic elements that is what needs our interpretation that's how it works okay so you're right some things can be very literal and we can identify it so when it comes to interpreting prophetic symbolism what are some guidelines so we it's enlisted in our notes and i'm going to take us through that um we are saying always use biblical symbolism for example just now we said figs but figs we can take that uh, image from anywhere because nowadays there uh, are like new age uh, practitioners uh, people who like occultic practices like how uh, he said you know uh, witchcraft spiritual so many things people are involved in and they'll also have some symbols if you search you'll find symbolism even on google you'll find so many symbols are there if i had if you had a dream and you saw this but we have to ensure that the symbolism we are using is biblical don't go to any other kind of mystics or uh, you know um, new age practitioners and you know things like that so stick to biblical symbolism and sometimes the symbol may not be found or the picture may not be found in the bible for example car okay so if we see a car what does it mean maybe it may show it may tell us god is uh, taking us somewhere okay it's not exactly there in the bible but by the by the holy spirit we can get to know roughly like what it means okay so <clears throat> sometimes that symbol won't be there in scripture but we can depend on the holy spirit and also scripture to kind of come to that conclusion what it is then what uh, is the other thing while interpreting dreams we must be clear as i told us a dream can be a mixture of literal and symbolic so when we see something which is literal we can go by it for example uh, somebody is not well and we see them in our dreams they are not well and uh, god is healing them and they become stronger so when we wake up we feel like hey that's what god is saying this person who is not well whom we know god is doing something in their lives to make them well okay that's literal but symbolic for example i remember once uh, you know one person she was sharing a dream she had a dream and in that dream she saw um, you know a pastor and that pastor was saying something to her and uh, she was actually making a decision on the basis of that and all so then she asked me why did i see that pastor and you know we were prayerfully trying to interpret it and the interpretation was though she saw that pastor it's not that pastor it's it's like god's message is coming through the uh, in authority it's coming in authority so that i can't literally go by that pastor's name like oh i have to go to that person's church maybe it's not that maybe it's just that uh, with authority god is speaking to you you do this so then that is symbolic you cannot take that person literally so those are the things we have to be careful about so in the same dream uh, some things will be literal and then there will be other things which are symbolic you'll see a person so i may see you know like uh, um my mother but it may mean it may not mean my mother it may mean compassion it may mean love you understand so that's the way we have to interpret right literal symbolic okay let's go on when we are seeing a dream uh we need to recognize the audience so a god given dream has um, it's trying to communicate something isn't it so if it's trying to say something who is god speaking to um usually what we say is depending on who we are 
so let's say uh, there's a pastor he gets a dream god may be saying something to the congregation okay not in every dream some dreams can be personal for that pastor for his family and all but some messages can be for the congregation now we may see a dream that may concern us or it may concern someone we are praying for someone we are ministering to so who is the audience is the question we have to ask uh if i if i just get a dream it may not be that oh i have to tell everybody about my dream because god may just be trying to speak to me or to just my family so when i identify the audience also it becomes little more easier to interpret uh, what we are trying to say so uh, yeah when we do it uh, dream by dream all this will make more sense but just broad guidelines that uh, i'm sharing here next uh there can be a meaning or resemblance between the audience and the symbol uh, like um, okay let's say in my dream i see a diary i see a pink diary now that pink diary you know god the way he speaks is that maybe i had a pink diary in the past and i am able to understand what that pink diary means okay uh, but that same pink diary another person may not get in their dream because there's no there's no relevance yeah there's no relevance so even while interpreting dreams when we see that when we see things like this um we can ask that person hey did you have a pink diary what did it mean to you and then that will be helpful because there's some connection between that symbolism to the audience to whom god is speaking so that we can use that also to interpret uh, and uh, sometimes certain dreams we don't understand what it means <clears throat> then what should we do we need to try like use some uh, methods to interpret it one is to see whether you have uh, any any such symbols in the bible okay look at scripture and uh, see so that that is one we can use we can look at certain um main characters okay uh, main main things in the dream um uh, what was this uh this anyway uh, this was like way back i had a dream it was so weird it was like uh, uh, i'm taken to some place and then there's a big cupboard and then you open the cupboard it was a little bit scary also so open the cupboard and then in the cupboards there were all some dry bones everywhere something dry is there and it was not at all happy like when i opened the cupboards i was like why is everything dry why is everything so dead um i woke up in the morning i'm like i don't know what it means i just wrote it down and i left it and then i try to think of scriptures okay bones dry bones it's representative of deadness right like ezekiel 37 you see that uh, dry bones then um, uh and there were many details in the dream so many details like uh, actually Uh, in the beginning it was like i got kidnapped okay so i got kidnapped and then some people took me to a really uh, secluded place so there's so much going on and then i see these people and this and that and then i go to the room and then i open the cupboard so much is happening but in dream interpretation we should avoid getting too much into all this or oh, this was this color that was that color not needed get the main thing get the main thing so main thing is uh, i'm looking at dryness stored away okay so i just focused on that there are many other details to the dream so that is another important uh, guideline don't get lost in the small little details what are the main things in the dream uh, and then go ahead and try to interpret so i felt like yeah that cupboard with 
dry bones is something and god is trying to say something so i focused in on that and i felt like the meaning could be that there are many ideas thoughts you know things that i want to do but i'm not doing it i just left it i just left it and now it's all dry and dead uh, but i need faith to be able to make bring it out of the cupboard and uh, step out and see god work in my life so don't say that you know i can only do this and that and then keep all the other uh, options that god has given away because of fear or you know some other inadequacy so i got the meaning of the dream but i didn't get it immediately i just wrote it down and then i started praying and then i was trying to interpret like okay from scripture from some of the main elements in the dream so i'm giving you an example so this is helpful right look focus in on what god is showing you main things and then interpret one more key is we need the correct meaning we need the correct meaning so that one element in the dream can mean two different things for example if we take a lion we know that the bible says uh, jesus you know he's a lion of juda he's the lion of juda uh, but we see that peter also says satan is like a roaring lion then i'm seeing a lion is it god is it the devil you know or we take dove we can see if we see a dove in the dream a dove is holy spirit okay he descended like a dove we need that but dove also means that um, you know uh, there's another scripture where it says like you should not be simple natured or like uh, dumb like a dove so if i see a dove it can be holy spirit but it can also mean uh, being having a very simple attitude not not having wisdom got it so then we have to see there can be two very opposing meanings to the same symbol how will we know whether it is this or that okay ask the holy spirit uh yes that we should do that ha huh. okay okay that's also helpful so we generally say the best person who can interpret the dream is the person who saw it because it will also involve feelings yeah when you saw that lion like how did you feel did you feel at peace or did you have fear all these things also can be considered so ideally it's the person who sees it who will know actually what was going on in the dream okay correct so go by the whole dream and the entire meaning <laughs> suppose all this is not working then what to do okay ask another person okay let's imagine you asked you asked the le leaders elders nobody is able to interpret ha huh. yeah so we have a gift of the holy spirit it is called as the um word of wisdom word of wisdom so we can pray that the word of wisdom will operate in us so you see we are trying to use our logic uh yes yeah word of knowledge is a a piece of information but word of wisdom is solution to a problem so then through the word of wisdom also we can explain so one very again one more strange dream i don't know how uh, you know it happened but this was back in our school days and there was uh, no maybe college days and there was a friend of mine so i saw this person in the dream and all and then uh, i broke a tooth that was a dream can you imagine like what in the world are you going to interpret on this i don't know how i broke but the end of the dream was something related to that friend but my tooth broke yeah my tooth broke 
so then i'm thinking like what lord what is this what is this um but the meaning of the dream was that i uh, you know like uh, that person will go on their own way and uh, though we are all close friends like the season of life is changing my friend friends are going to be different that was the meaning that was the meaning so the tooth breaking is like uh, not continuing in that friendship anymore right but then how do you like what do you look at for symbolism in scripture and all to interpret but finally i got the meaning and that's very true because um, you know that those were college days right like uh, we were all close friends a whole bunch of us but everyone went their own different directions and they have their own lives and have hardly kept in touch in fact not just that one friend many friends but that was the meaning it came much later uh, not through assigning the symbols and all but it just came in my spirit that okay god is trying to say uh, that friendship went yeah yeah yes as we are praying like holy spirit just puts it in your spirit yeah uh, every dream is from god no okay yeah if, if there is a no means what's the answer what's the alternative one so we we mentioned that when we started today that some are from god some are because we are uh, thinking yeah. about some matters yeah. Yeah. and my question is uh, like is it is it i mean any dream that comes from satan yes it, it can come from satan also because for unbelievers they huh. also get dream, dreams right yeah yeah it won't be everything from god right that's true yeah it can come from satan also yeah and then one more doubt how to remember the dreams man yeah how to remember the dreams i think good way to do is to write it down no like if yeah. We, if, yeah see we use our phone for everything no ma'am we can't yes. use a phone to see, write the we'll, dream we'll, we'll, the dream will be start from 1 o'clock to 5 or 6 o'clock we'll be traveling in that uh, movie only and then just to see wake up in 1 minute we'll we'll forget everything yeah and then that's true so uh, actually if you look at you know study sleep and uh, dreams and uh, um, like eye movement rem sleep and all we are supposed to be having hundreds of dreams in a night so we actually see so many dreams every night only thing we don't remember them we don't remember them but when some dreams stand out to us and we feel like god said something and we forget it what i do is i just pray lord i forgot just remind me what exactly happened in that dream see at least one or two key points if you remember so meaning you can identify so just pray and ask god to give you like uh, that thing back ha yeah. uh -huh. thing like i have uh, you know i write uh, sermons in dreams mom like <laughs> wow okay like, like i mean it's not literally but the thing is i used to say uh, mm. one sermon mm. and and you know i don't even know how that another second point will come third point will come and i i prayed a lot of times to just remember mm. but i won't i can't remember the mm. things what i've dreamt okay but in the dreams the flow is so good okay I, i like i'll i'll be thinking of myself i'm preaching mm -hmm. somewhere so, so the, what is the meaning then you tell us you interpret your own dream and tell us no the thing is what what i what i'm thinking is see i i wanted to remember the dream and i wanted to remember the points mm. once i tried to do i wrote two points mm. what i have dreamt but i couldn't do that once again uh, so one. what sermon you wrote you are trying to retrieve yeah. okay got it got it but uh, see anand that's what i'm saying it can just be a basic communication that god is going to use you in that area right but to get the content of the sermon from the dream may not be the thing that you get that from bible college <laughs> so you are here so that uh, god is not uh, giving you those points in in the dream message is can't be compensated 
like how it can it can happen it can happen so you could actually i mean god can work anyway right so you can get a whole message also you can preach it also that can happen yeah so it might just mean that uh, anand that in this area you should work hard and uh, god will use you so good thing is like you just uh, in the phone you know notes or um, some google drive you you can just write down some details if not the whole thing at least write down the key things that you saw okay i saw this this person this 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 and if a small interpretation i feel this is what god is saying then yeah okay now symbols uh, in the bible there are uh, divine symbols there are materials gestures actions numbers so all this is to help us when we see certain images names characters colors uh, so the whole list is here we won't go through everything so divine symbols you know when uh, we see sword from scripture it's like uh, a break in fellowship uh, or it can mean judgment burning bush when if you see a burning bush moses experienced god's presence so it will mean presence of god uh, and you know similarly water river holy spirit okay if you see a, a mantle come on us or something covering us anointing right so this is the manner in which we could identify divine symbols some materials that we see for example we said good figs good figs are jewish captives in babylon if you see a tree you see a tree and the tree is so prosperous there is a river next to the tree and all it's a person tree is a picture of a person god is saying okay this person is blessed they are fruitful so when i see a tree maybe god is speaking about a person if it's a dry tree not fruitful then we can understand what exactly it means so yeah so images like that some some of these materials or if we see uh what else yeah dry bones dry bones is something that is dead and uh really relating to any restorative work that god is going to do um if we see stars 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 in the book of revelation have to do with pastors or leaders of the church there are you know those stars so like that you use the symbol and then material and be able to describe it so okay i won't go through everything you can look at it which one yeah sinful israel it comes from that passage in that passage there'll be a description yeah ha uh -huh. sword and uh, like for the meaning it was given like judgment coming in okay a break of fellowship between man and god but mm. uh, we also see in a scripture for the sword as word of god right now. so yes. how we can yeah take it we can how mm. like if we see a dream of sword mm -hmm. how i can know it is like god was telling me to read the word of god or it's like telling the judgment coming in mm. so that's why i'm saying we need a few more elements in that dream then when we link all those elements we will be able to uh, see the context so the no, no 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 it doesn't but most uh, this is like uh, common common meaning yeah so other gestures are there uh, symbolic gestures like if somebody is laying hands uh, or, uh, on someone that means like uh, you know you're seeing someone man of god like blessing you woman of god blessing you so that is like imparting something some blessing is coming or we are shaking hands with someone it's like fellowship a new fellowship has started a new partnership has started uh, so yeah like those kind of things so if, you can use this these tables for your reference also 
see uh, things like uh, numbers some numbers like 7 is the number of uh, perfection uh, 8 i think is a number of new beginnings so if you see a number in the dream then you can interpret it accordingly uh, 40 is uh, testing testing moses 40 years israel 40 years in the wilderness and jesus 40 days of temptation so it means testing sometimes we can see names of people uh, maybe i see the name of abraham what does it mean it could mean faith got it so based on the name you can interpret colors we may see the color purple purple is royalty blue is heaven red uh, is it could be sin also it could be blood of jesus also so like that white is purity holiness and uh, then you know pastor shared one of his dreams towards the end this you've uh, you've heard about this dream right like he sees different snakes uh, he sees a uh, okay in a in a gist what he saw was uh, he saw like um, one type of snake small snakes so he knew he can just jump over them and he escaped then again he saw one more bigger snake and he threw something at it uh, distracted it and he escaped but finally he was standing in a place where there was something like a big anaconda like you know it swallows you up right and then he was like okay now what do i do and uh, in that moment he suddenly saw a uh, chicken you know how they uh, they hold chicken by the feet like you have a bunch of chicken so he saw chicken like that and uh, he knew that the answer to escape is just distract that big snake so he took the chicken and he threw at the snake and the snake got distracted instead of following him uh, it went after the chicken and swallowed and he escaped from that place so then he was asking god what is the meaning lord what what does it mean so basically the meaning was strategies you see for every situation there's a different strategy that god gave him to come out of uh, uh, you know the situation and then later on god gives him a scripture also where um, it it talks about the best strategy of god is the cross the cross is the wisdom of god and how god has overcome the works of satan through the wisdom of the cross so that is like the ultimate strategy so that is the interpretation of the dream so can you imagine like you see what is this snake chicken <laughs> what is god trying to tell me but that's what god was trying to say okay so these are the ways in which we interpret dreams so with that uh, we close dream interpretation the remaining chapters i will uh, just do one or two uh, quick recordings uh, most of these things are familiar so you we've already discussed a lot of this in our earlier classes uh, next week onwards we will start the apostolic okay so can we close with a word of prayer one of you can you please pray Lord Jesus, uh, we thank you for this time, Father. We thank you that uh, you have given us uh, good insights and taught us on new things this day. Lord, as what we have learned, O oh Lord, Father Jesus, uh, we ask for the wisdom of your spirit, O oh Lord, Father, to uh, keep, uh, to use it in a right way, O oh Lord, Father, to interpret our dreams, O oh Lord, Father. Help us, O oh Lord, Father, to use everything that we have taught our oh lord father and jesus we pray that uh, whatever we have learned our oh lord father it will come in handy one day our oh lord father to help us our oh lord father and uh, to use it for your kingdom our oh lord father we thank you for everything in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. and thank you thank you so much god bless